Hello Australia, this is The Scene. It's all about great Australian and West Australian music and we can't do it without our mates at Sorrento Strategic Accounting, Morley Sound Centre and Atomic Beer. My name is Blake Williams. Hello, and on this show we love West Australian music, whether it is rock or pop or funk or hip hop or folk or so many different styles. But what about something we've never had on this show before? Big band jazz. In fact, tonight we are raising the brow. Even our crew are going black tie. Where's Maddie Milford? There he is. Look, even our crew are looking dapper tonight. Please give it up for the swinging sounds of the 50s jazz from Mace Francis plus 11. a chair, relax, nothing to care about, it's time, some wine, a glass or two for you, and we can talk, what would you like, a start to fit your appetite, and then the main event will do. You can taste our show Plus 11 on stage a few moments ago. 
the very first time we've ever had a big band jazz act here in the studio. And in fact, I think setting two records tonight, not only the most best dressed band we've ever had in the studio, uh, but the biggest band we've ever had on the scene stage. So two records, tick, tick. You're welcome. Of course, Mace Francis and Ricky Mallett joining us. And tonight, guys, we're going to do something a bit different as well. We have an art challenge at the back of our studio in our media photo booth section. Uh, Talia and Lucy are down there. They have an art challenge. So we're going to put 10 minutes on the clock. They're waving to the camera. They have to come up with their interpretation of a still life of your band. All right? So they've got 10 minutes to come up with that. At the end, you guys get to vote on the best. Ooh, and they sure. win Ooh. a $50 Qdale Tavern voucher. All right? Okay. All right, it has been laid down. But now, let's... <laughs> they're laughing and getting into it. Um, guys, welcome to the show on behalf of, of the entire band. Uh, it is so hard to get four people in a band into one room at the same time. How do you manage with 12? Next question. I <laughs> know uh, it, it's, uh, it's difficult, um, but uh, I always try to work with great people who are very accommodating um, and sort of, well, I hope sort of believe in the same thing that I believe in. So um, it's, yeah, just lots of text messages and messages and emails and all the other ways of communicating. And um, mm. But yeah, the, the people that I work with usually get back to me fairly quickly. So but they obviously love working in this band because, you know, you don't often get to play original 50s big band stuff very often, right? Uh, so the people you've got in the band, have they been there generally a long time or how, do, how does the membership sort of work? Uh, well, this, this band is sort of fairly new um, and it's working with some uh, new people. Ricky here I've been working with uh, for decades. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was thinking yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, regrettably always agrees. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, I take the thumbs down as a Yes, um, <laughs> every time. But uh, it just yeah, this this band is um, some yeah people that I've have worked with and have wanted to work with, um, mm. and it's yeah, it, it's a yeah exciting new band. For sure, in fact, you know, amazing, talented players in this band as well. We'll talk about uh, the kind of jazz scene in, in just a moment, but there's so much that you've done in this band and in other bands as well. You know, two of the country nationally several times, uh, the Artist in Residence thing, APRA Awards, uh, Perth International Jazz Festival, you run that as well. Before we get into all of that, let's go back. Did you grow up in a really musical household or not? Uh, no. No, my, but I have a fairly artistic family, so my, both my parents are visual artists um, and my older sister is a, is a visual artist as well, so there was, a lot, there was a lot of art in the house and there was never an expectation to get a real job. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so there was, always, there was always a creative household. Uh, we're always driving around to galleries and um, we used to spend our Friday and Saturday evenings um, at art exhibitions, um, and my parents would be like, "This is dinner. <laughs> eat, eat all the crackers. Eat all the all <laughs> take the, the canapes and bring yeah. them home." <laughs> yeah, totally. And, and Dad would fill himself up with some red wine, and Mum would drive home. Um, <laughs> so yeah, there was sort of yeah, it was a creative household. But yeah, music wasn't a big part of that. But um, I did get into music because uh, my older sister w was uh, dating a guitarist at the time, and, and that was the start of your musical yeah. journey. Yeah. Yeah. Right. What about jazz? When did you first go, oh, I could see myself getting into this? Well, he was, he was a jazz guitarist. Right. So I joined, I forced myself into a band at high school. Um, had to buy a guitar first. Um, and then I was in the band and then uh, started getting some lessons. And the, and the guy that was teaching me was a jazz guitarist. So um, as well as all kind of the, the punk stuff I wanted to play. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, you know, maybe listen to this. And it did sort of capture capture my imagination fairly quickly. Um, well, that kind of leads me on to this question. Uh, Ricky, I'll ask you this as well. But what is it about jazz specifically that you really enjoy? For me, it's the, it's the energy um, and just the feeling of it. And it's, it's sort of the same with... I mean, I don't listen to... I, I listen to other types of music other than jazz. But the jazz that I really love to listen to, uh, is it feels, feels really good. It moves something in me. Uh, and that can be emotionally through the lyrics, um, or it could just be the groove, or like the sound of the recording, or something. Uh, it has an emotional uh, response to me. 
Like, is it a certain uh, era of jazz? That no, no, it could be okay. any. It could be any era, yep. um, any style of jazz. Ricky, um, what about you? Yeah, it's kind of the same. Something it just moves me, but I, something I really enjoy is uh, is the freedom of it. You can kind of it's about breaking the rules, the boundaries, and you know taking it where you want it to go. Yeah, absolutely. You can you, you're making it up as you go in many ways. You know, improvising and whatever um, is is happening on stage. The Perth jazz scene though it is remarkable i think uh you know it's just incredible you can go to you know new york and walk past and there's troy roberts playing something you know these people go to the four corners of the globe what is it do you think that makes perth have such a great scene Oof. um i think there's there's a lot to be said about the isolation uh people think that because they're in perth they're crap or, you know, or there's that sort of, mm. oh, so far away from everything that, um, that we're not as good, which means you, everyone works really hard um, and sort of builds their, builds their little world and, and builds their craft. Um, and then when they go other places, they're like, oh, actually, we're kind of, we're, we're okay or we're, we're good. Or like you said, you know, Troy Roberts or Linda O or Matt Jodrell, they're the best, mm, yeah. and, and they did it here in, in Perth. And have you know, every, you, you go to New York and you say you're from Perth, and like, tell Matt Jodrell to get his you know, <laughs> get his butt back here. Um, yeah, that's crazy. It's yeah. like a city that's so small in the context of the world that they know that you know Perth is a place for, for jazz. It's it's remarkable, and you know, people like you guys and the rest of the band, just amazing players. Let's talk about uh, writing. So writing these charts, writing these songs. To write a big band song, does it start out as a non-big band song and you hear it with the horns in there? How do you kind of go from song to big band, if that makes sense? Uh, or do you, do you write firstly with big band in mind? Yeah, I do. Right. Um, I guess I didn't really start composing music seriously until I was at uni and, and writing for big band. So a lot of the music that I, I guess, conceptually come up with is for that format. The song you guys started the show with, how did that come about? Well, that was, uh, that was written as sort of a song, like, um, well, yeah, obviously, or well, not obviously, but it was a, lyric, oh, a melody and chords, um, and then sort of adapted from that. But sort of my composition um, experience has been sort of conceptualising the big band first, the, the sort of writing it for that format first. So I've sort of gone a little bit backwards um, just because my education into composition was at uni through Whopper, mm. um, and I was yeah sort of some of the first tunes I ever composed were for big band, so it's sort of um, it's kind of what I know. Yeah, for yeah. sure. The way you compose and you know playing guitar does that change the way you arrange things, or do you all arrange it on keys? How do you kind of hear where you want to go? Um, I do a. L a little bit on guitar, because I studied guitar, I f sort of a lot of patterns sort of fall under the fingers, so I try to do as much as I can on piano, and I'm a really bad piano player. So it sort of allows the music to come out, rather than sort of being proficient at playing chords and things, so mm. it sort of al allows the music to come out. So it sort of feels like exploring what's there, rather than always sort of hearing what's in my okay. head. Yeah, so it's... Yeah. Yeah. I know what you're saying. Um, we do have the art challenge. Let's just quickly check back because we're almost at time for the interview. So oh, I geez. want to say, ladies, how are we doing down the back? Do we need some more time? Oh, you're doing good. You've got the thumbs up. Okay. The ladies are doing well. We're going to reveal the winner of our art challenge and you guys will decide who gets that $50 Qdale voucher. If you don't like either, I guess you can have it yourself. You can split it 25 bucks each. Maybe. Mm. But you know what? Let's cross live yeah. to uh, Suze, who's our floor manager. She is standing in the Atomic Bar. Now, Suze likes to throw a question at our artists, and I don't know what these are. So, Suze, did you have a question for Mace Francis and okay, for Ricky? My question this week is, you're going to have a very special dinner date. You and one other. Who would you invite? Ricky Mallet. Oh, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> did you? Is in like... Your best friend, or no, like a, anybody, yeah, okay. live, it's dead, an open question. Muso, anything, anyone. Who's it going to be? Tell us, some special. Ooh. Ooh. Make it special, mm, so you said. Special, mm. come on. Who would you invite to dinner? Oh, hang on, who's paying? Yeah, uh, you know what? <laughs> it's comped. 
Let's oh, go with that. Okay. Yeah, not All by right. us, obviously. Oh, or the QDL Tavern. The Tavern. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's $50. You got $50 $50 limit. limit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hit the QDL Tavern up for that as well. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm going to go out and, and say uh, my partner, Jess Carl. Because oh. otherwise, I'm not going home tonight. Let's oh, mate. If you want to win some relationship brownie points, you just did it. Yeah, thank you. Well, I'm going to say uh, his partner. Um, <laughs> <Jess Carl. laughs> No, I'd probably uh, uh, Thad Jones, who was a, a um, big band composer in the uh, 50s and 60s and 70s. Um, yeah, he, he looked like he could eat and drink a lot. So <laughs> a bit of a, a party night. around the dinner table. Yeah, and there's a few questions that I do want to ask him. Oh, good answer. Mm -hmm. Both good answers. Give it up, everybody. Good answers all around. <laughs> you know what, though? Talking Qdow vouchers, we've just got them coming left, right and centre. Uh, if there are any questions from our audience, and there will be one right down the front, Suze has got a microphone. Suze, I know, Suze, she's just running off her feet today. Lady down the front, what was your name, sorry? Tara. Tara, Tara what was your question? I was wanting to know how you came up with the title of the album, Isolation Emancipation. Yes, the album that I haven't even mentioned in this entire interview. How, in fact, did you come up? <laughs> <laughs> with the title to the brand new album. What's the title? Uh, Isolation Emancipation. It certainly is. How did you come up with it? Uh, well, it was, it was during the 2020 lockdown and um, just wanted to write some happy music um, ready to come out of that period of time. I mean, we were pretty lucky in WA not to be locked down too long. Yeah. Um, but yeah, tried to, tried to be productive as much as I could during, the, during that time. So the album came from that, uh, that period. And you can check the album out, of course. Well done, $50 voucher coming your way. Give it up, everybody, down the front. Yeah. But as we wrap up the interview, Talia and Lucy are down the back. Ladies, we'll get you to come all the way down the front because now you get to judge. This could potentially be, this is a big moment for the band. This could be the new album cover. I don't know how that works with legal, but we'll figure something out. Okay. I'm so excited. So the challenge was to, to write or to draw your version of the band, right? Okay, all right. We've got a camera down here. Chris is right behind you. Let's, uh, let's reveal, shall we? Okay, let's go number one. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry. Oh. All right. Let's have a look. Oh, wow, very colourful. Certainly colourful. And number two. Ooh, also equally colourful. All right, boys, what do we think? Yeah, I mean, it's a little hard to judge. Oh, you, how do you judge Aww. art like this? I mean, this is definitely going to split the band up. It really is. Honest. Yeah. I reckon that's, that's worth $25 each at the Qdell Tavern, I reckon. Yeah. You want to split it? Yeah. yeah. You know what, yeah. let's go. Let's go 50 bucks each. Oh. 50 bucks oh. each. Yeah. Now it's a party. Ba band harmony. Everyone's yes. a winner right here on the scene. Ladies and gentlemen, we can take a very short break here on Foxtel and round Australia. When we return, Mace Francis plus 11 live on stage. If you want to find you online, best handle on social media? At Mace Francis. Nice and easy back just after this. See you soon. Thank you.
good was that, everybody? That is Mace Francis plus 11. We love Australian music here on this show, right around the country on Foxtel each and every week and on demand on YouTube. If you're watching us on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. You'll never miss an episode of the show. Big thanks to Sorrento Strategic Accounting, Morley Sound Centre and Atomic. I'm Blake Williams. Catch you next week. Good night, everybody. Thank you.